But let's move on to the next one. And we have got Georgia Tech heading over to Notre Dame. And good gracious, what Brian Kelly has done with this team is nothing short of miraculous. It's a 2.30 p.m. Eastern time game. The Irish are 17.5 point favorites, total of 59.5. Georgia Tech 5-1 and one against Notre Dame in the last six matchups between the two. And man, when you look at advanced stats and whatnot on this game, I it's really hard to not take Notre Dame in this spot. Uh, advanced numbers would tell you that they should be favored by like 20 in this game. Instead, they're favored by 17 and a half. Uh, the number's actually gone up quite a bit. I There's something about Georgia Tech and their ability to fight and the fact that this line is all the way up at 17 and a half. I made the line 14 and it's all the way at 17 and a half. I think, I think Georgia Tech can hang around in this game. This is, I, I've told you multiple times, this is one of the most volatile teams out there. None of their advanced numbers said that they should be any good, but that's because they're not consistent. Do I think that they could go to Notre Dame Stadium and absolutely put up some kind of a fight? Absolutely. I, I certainly think that they could. I think they could feel like, okay, Notre Dame might be gettable. We know we're not going to beat Georgia next week. Like I, That's a weird way to look at this, I understand, because they could just be looking ahead to Georgia next week. But I think they got some fight in them. I think they can hang within 17 and a half. So I'm going to take Georgia Tech here. So normally I don't like laying these big numbers at all, ever. But but I look, I haven't gotten a lot right this year. One thing I got right before the season started was the Notre Dame team is no joke. They are they are not some punk that are just going to lose a bunch of guys and roll over and die. They are going to fight like hell in every game. They're going to lose very few of them. I thought they'd lose the Cincinnati game. They did lose the Cincinnati game. They hadn't lost since. They hadn't trailed a bunch after that. that also, so like. They've been handling everyone they need to handle. I, I think the Georgia Tech team is bad. I don't think they're very good at football at all. I, I think there's a world where this team might, might be quitting. They might be waving the red flag in the fourth quarter, and, and Notre Dame gets up by three, three scores. I, I could dig that. I could dig that. So I'll write down Notre Dame for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the Yellow Jackets for – whatever reason, and I'll probably be regretting that once we get to about uh, 5 o'clock Eastern time on Saturday. But uh, You just keep saying that they're a great team. They're a great, they're a great coach, and, and, they, and they, he's building something. Well, at the, you know, it's, it's three, four years now. At some point in time, you got to get the damn thing built. Yeah, it's been it's been three seasons, so I, you know, yes, I, I think they got to get something done. They don't look done. any different in year three than they did in year one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.